Can I have a piece of toast? When it gets very gory, I just don't look. I thought you'd be glad to see me. Oh, God, no. You're hurting my feelings. God forbid one should have to be sitting next to um, Griffin Dunn in the morning, first thing before you've had your breakfast, when he's having that ghastly makeup being put on. Griffin was quite freaked out the first day that uh, Rick Baker put the makeup on him. You could see as I'm putting these pieces on him with several different pieces. I'm kind of sinking more and more in the chair and just getting more and more depressed. And it's like, what's the matter, Griffin? You know, nothing. You know, go, no, really, something's wrong. What's the matter? And it finally said, you know, look, look at it. They were putting it on, and first it was all white, and then it had this little vein thing in it. And then they started to apply makeup, and I, and I saw I was going to look like it's going to be gruesome. It's going to be really, really gruesome. Quite an unsettling experience, to tell you the truth. I, it, I, I became profoundly depressed because you got a very strong sense of what you would look like if you were dead. My mother was, was, was ill at the time, and I remember thinking, my mother can't see this. She'll, this will freak her out. He looked pretty disgusting in real life, so people were, like, avoiding him. Ooh. I still remember the first time I saw it. I was like, oh, my God. I look like my throat's been torn out, you know? It's like, this is my big movie break and nobody's going to want to look at me, you know? And I said, did, did you read the script? <laughs> yeah. And he goes, doesn't it say your throat's torn out and half your face is torn off? Yeah. Said, yeah, but somehow I didn't think it was going to look like this, you know? It's like, he wasn't a happy camper at that moment, you know? And I remember sending photo Polaroids off to John and saying, you know, I think you need to talk to Griffin because he's not, you know, real pleased in the moment. He was, he was pretty shook and it really took me and John a while to, to calm him down and convince him that, we knew what we were doing. But, you know, he finally got got used to it. He was a real trooper about it once he got over his initial reaction. I realize I don't look so hot, David. The initial test that I did on Griffin, I had blood all over him and dirt and stuff. And that's where one thing where John did have something to say about, and he wanted him to be perfectly clean when he shows up in the hospital the first time, other than the wounds. He wanted it to be, you know, he wanted him to make sure that it was Griffin there, you know, so. Yeah, we just hoped it could be captured on film because it looks so great. And it was, you know, glistening, and they were in there painting it, so it looked fresh. It was so realistic with the, the flesh and the little pieces of flesh hanging. Everybody talks about the little, you know, dangly part. I thought that was really horrible. It wasn't, they were intentionally planned it to do that. It was just this little piece that I put on there. And because it was wet and had weight of the water on it, when he would talk, that little thing would move. And, turned out to be one of those fun things that happens, you know. So that was stage one. Stage two was a makeup and many more appliances uh, to try to make him look a little more gaunt and a little more rotten. And it was, you know, kind of greenish color. What are you doing here? I wanted to see you. Hi, David! Put that down. It was pretty thick as far as appliances go. But I really wanted the neck to have some depth, you know. I wanted to, do, I wanted to really see the, you know, the thyroid cartilage and stuff in there. And he was basically all covered with appliances at that point. You've got to take your own life. I remember that I had to get up at four in the morning as opposed to five. I could appreciate it, um, and I could appreciate how exciting it was for everyone else putting it on. But to be the guy sitting in the chair from four in the morning for six, seven hours. Uh, you know, the, the thrill of that wore off pretty quick. You know, I, I would just sit there and patiently try not to go out of my mind. I'm not having a nice time here. I was a fidgety guy who um, just wanted to pull it off the minute it was on. You know, it's glue. They glued it to your face, and, and the heat it would constrict. It was like being eaten alive by ants. Tomorrow night's the full moon. You're going to change. You'll become... I know. I know, a monster. <laughs>